Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing Spring Boot 3 and gRPC examples. In this tutorial, we'll be implementing client streaming gRPC call using Spring Boot 3. Or this I'll be taking reference of my website javainews.com. So go to Spring, Spring Boot 3. In Spring Boot 3, go to Spring Boot 3 gRPC examples. The example that we'll be looking at today is Spring Boot 3 gRPC client streaming example. In previous tutorial, we looked at Spring Boot 3 gRPC server streaming example. In this tutorial, we'll be implementing Spring Boot 3 gRPC client streaming call. A client streaming gRPC is a communication protocol in which the client sends multiple messages to the server using a single gRPC connection. So it allows the client to initiate a stream of data and send chunks of information to the server. The server then processes this data and responds accordingly. One common, one common use case for client streaming gRPC is when the client it needs to send a large amount of data to the server. So in such a scenario, the client it will send the data in small chunks to the server. For example, when the client it needs to send a large file to the server, then the client it will break down this file in small chunks and then send it to the server as a streaming data. Other useful scenarios is where the client it is continuously generating or collecting data that needs to be processed or analyzed on the server side. For example, we have Uber caps which need to continuously send their location to the server. So they will be sending this information about their current location as a streaming data to the server and the server will then process this information and send instructions to the cab accordingly. The use case that we'll be implementing for this tutorial is the bank client it needs to upload address proof to the bank server. So this address proof it is a large PDF. So the bank client will then send this address proof PDF as streaming data to the bank server. The bank server will process the streaming data and once it gets the entire streaming data it will upload this file to the server and it will return back the message that the upload is done. So let us begin with the implementation part. We will be first creating the Spring Boot Client Streaming gRPC server. So this is the Maven project that we will be creating. Go to Eclipse and create a new Maven project. Other Maven project. Create a simple project. Group ID give it as com.javainews. Artifact ID give it as boot client streaming gRPC server. Next in the pom.xml we will be adding the required dependencies. The first is the Spring Boot Startup Parent Dependency. This dependency provides default configuration dependencies and plugins that are commonly used in Spring Boot applications. The next is the gRPC Server Spring Boot Starter Dependency. This dependency provides the necessary components to integrate and run a gRPC server within a Spring Boot application. Next we have the gRPC Stub Dependency. This dependency it provides the classes and utilities for creating and using gRPC stubs which are used to make remote procedure calls. The next dependency is gRPC protobuf dependency. This dependency provides support to define and exchange structured data between our gRPC client and server. And finally we have the annotations API dependency. This dependency provides the necessary annotations for Java code generated by the protobuf maven plugin. Finally in the pond.xml we define the protobuf maven plugin. Using this plugin we auto generate the required gRPC classes using the proto file defined in the source main proto folder. So let us make these changes to the pond.xml. Copy this. Go to Eclipse. Next in the source mail proto folder, we'll be creating a proto file named bankservice.proto. In gRPC, a proto file is a special type of file that helps define the structure and communication between the different software components. So it acts like a blueprint for creating and interacting with these components. Both at the server as well as the client end will be having the same proto file. And using this proto file, some gRPC classes will be generated, which will help the client and server communicate with each other. Next, let us have a look at the proto file that we'll be creating. First, we'll be creating a message named address proof request. So this address proof request is the message that will be sent by the client to the server and it has the following fields. The first is the account holder name, that is the name of the banking client. Then the account number, that is the account number of the banking client whose address is to be uploaded. And finally, the address details will be a PDF file which will be sent as bytes to, from the client to the server. So once the server it receives this address proof request and it processes the PDF file and uploads it successfully, it will be sending back a message named address proof response. We'll have two fields. The first is a boolean named success. So this will be either true or false depending on whether the file it has been successfully updated or not. And the other will be a message. So if the file it has been successfully uploaded, then we'll just be sending a message that the file is uploaded successfully. So at the gRPC server end, we'll be creating a service named bank service, which will have a method named upload address proof. The upload address proof, it will receive the address proof request as streaming input. And once it processes this address proof request, it will return back the address proof response. So let us create this proto file. Copy this and go to Eclipse. In Eclipse, go to source, main and create a proto folder here. In proto, create a file name bankservice.proto. 
paste the contents here. Next, we create the Spring Boot Bootstrap class named Spring Boot GRPC Server Example Application for which we make use of the Spring Boot Application Annotation. Using this class, we start the GRPC Server Application. So let us create this class. Go to Eclipse. Source main Java and create a new class. Package will be called dot java alias dot bank copy the contents of this class so in the pom.xml we have specified the protobuf maven plugin which will take the proto file that we have defined in source main proto and using this proto file it will auto generate some grpc classes for us so using these grpc classes the grpc server and the grpc client they can communicate with each other to run this maven plugin and auto generate the grpc classes Go to pom.xml, run as maven builds, and here we'll be making use of the command eclipse colon eclipse screen install. Here the build is successful. If you now refresh the folder, here you can see that in the target, the grpc classes they are auto generated using the protobuf files. Next, we'll be creating a class named upload address proof observer. So, this class upload address proof observer it implements the stream observer for address proof request. It receives chunks of data for the account holder name, account number, and PDF file. It processes this PDF file by writing it to a file and sends the response message back confirming that the file it has been successfully uploaded. For the grpc stream observer class implementation, we'll be overriding three methods on next, on completed, and on error. The on next method is responsible for continuously listening to the streaming data and processing it. Once the entire streaming data has been consumed by the on next method, then the on completed method will be called. The on completed method will then take this entire data and upload it at a particular location on the server. And finally, we have the on error method. So when processing the streaming data, if any exception occurs, then the on error method gets called. So let us have a look at the upload address proof observer implementation. So here the upload address proof observer, this class it is implementing the stream observer. And here it is overriding the on next method, the on error method and on completed method. In the on next method, it continuously reads the address proof request, which is sent as a streaming data. From this, it gets the account holder name, account number, and here it will be appending the bytes that it has received to this PDF bytes. So once the streaming data it has been completely read and we get all the bytes that are sent in this address proof request in the PDF bytes, the on completed method will get called. In the on completed method, we'll be writing the PDF bytes as a file on the server location. So here we are saving this PDF byte as address proof.pdf. Also, once the address proof it has been successfully saved, we'll be sending back a response named address proof response. So this address proof response, it will tell the client that the file it has been successfully uploaded. Let us create this upload address proof observer class. Go to Eclipse and create a new class. Package will become .java.news.bank.service. Copy the contents of this class. Next, we'll be creating a class named process address service that extends the grpc auto generated class name bank service grpc dot bank service impl base. By extending this bank service grpc dot bank service impl base, we get a template with the necessary methods and we can focus on implementing the business logic without worrying about handling low level details of the grpc communication. So, this bank service grpc dot bank service impl base, we get it because we have defined a service named bank service in the proto file with the method upload address proof. So, if you look at the proto file here, we have a bank service with the method upload address proof. So, using this proto file, the base classes get generated. So, in the process address service, we override the upload address proof method and provide its implementation. So, this class, it reads the streaming address proof request and it returns back the address proof response. This method, it returns back a new instance of the upload address proof observer that we just implemented. So, let us create this class. Go to Eclipse and create a new class in service. Copy the contents of this file. Finally, in the application.properties file, we will be specifying the grpc port configuration. So, the grpc server port is 8090. This will be the port on which the grpc server will get started. So, go to source main resources and create a new file here. Application.properties. And paste this here. So, we are done with all the coding changes. Let us now test this application using the Bloom RPC client. So, run as Java application. This will start the application on port 8090. It has started. Now for Bloom RPC, we need the location of this proto file. So go to this location and copy this path. Here I'll be adding this path. Click on this request here. So here in the grpc request, we have the account holder name, which I'll be giving it as Java use. The account number and give it as account 5. This PDF bytes that we have here, these are not valid bytes. So even though this request, it will be successful, but 
the the PDF file that will get uploaded, it will be of size zero. So run this application. So here it gives a message that address broke document uploaded successfully. If you now go to this data folder, the data drive where the server will be uploading this file, we get the address proof.pdf, but it is zero bytes here. So later when we'll be creating the gRPC client using the Java application, we'll be uploading a proper PDF file. Next we'll be creating the Spring Boot client from gRPC client. This will be a Maven project. So go to Eclipse and create a new Maven project. File, new, other, Maven project. Create a simple project. Group ID, I'll give it as com.java in use. The project name will be boot client string gRPC client. Click on finish. So for the client application, the Maven project has been created. Next in the pom.xml, we'll be adding the required dependencies. So these dependencies, they are same as the ones that we had added for the gRPC server application. So similar to the server application here, we have the protobuf maven plugin in the pom.xml, which expects a proto file in the source main proto folder. So let us create this proto file. So here go to source main and create a new folder, proto. And here we'll be adding a new proto file. Maybe I'll just copy the proto file from here since it is the same. Next we'll be creating the Spring Boot Bootstrap class as follows. So this class it is used to start the Spring Boot application. Let us create this class. Source main Java, create a new class. Package will be com.java use.bank. Copy the contents of this class. Next, we'll be building this client project to auto generate the gRPC classes from the proto file. For this, we'll be making use of the command eclipse color eclipse clean install. So, the build is successful. If we now refresh this project, so here in the target, gRPC classes are auto generated from the proto file. Next, we'll be creating the response observer class. So this class, it implements the stream observer interface. So we need to override the on next on error and on completed methods, which are there in the stream observer. So this response observer class, it is responsible for listening to the responses that we'll get from the server. So while the client, it is streaming the address proof to the server, the server will keep on sending some messages back to the client. So these messages will be read on the client end by this response observer. So here the on next method, it will keep on reading the messages that are sent by the client until the streaming is being done. Once the streaming is completed, then the on completed method will get called. And here we'll just be printing the message that the file it has uploaded successfully. In the response observer class, we make use of the log to maintain synchronization between the different method calls. Also in this class, we have the await completion method. So this await completion method is needed so that the response observer class, it keeps listening till the entire address proof. It has been streamed successfully and uploaded by the server. So let us create this response observer class. Go to Eclipse and create a new class. Package will be com.javanews.bank.service. Copy the contents of this class. In this class, we create a managed channel using which we'll be establishing a connection to the gRPC server which runs on localhost port 8090. Next, this managed channel, we pass it to a gRPC stub. So this gRPC stub, it is provided to us by the auto-generated gRPC classes. Next, we create an instance of the response observer class. So this response observer class, we had just created it and it is used to handle the response from the server. Next, using the gRPC stub, we'll be creating a stream observer which will send streaming data to the gRPC server used by calling the upload address proof method. In this class, the file path, it specifies the name and location of the PDF file that is to be uploaded by the client to the server. So using file input stream, we read the content of this file. So this input, it is read as bytes. So we create a new address proof request using the builder pattern. To this, we pass the account holder name, account number, and the PDF bytes that have been read. And using the request observer, we send it to the server. Also, when this data it is being continuously streamed by the client to the server, the response observer it continuously listens to the responses that are sent by the server to the client. So once all the data it has been streamed, then the request observer dot on completed method gets called, and also the response observer dot await completion method it also gets called. And finally, we shut down the manage channel. So let us create this class. Go to Eclipse and create this class. New class. Copy the contents of this class. Finally, we'll be modifying the Spring Bootstrap class to call the upload method of the bank service. So here, we'll first get the application context and then using this context, we'll load the bank service bean that we have just created, this bank service bean, and we'll call the upload address proof. So by making this change, the upload address proof will be called when we start this Spring Boot project. So let us make this change. Go to this Bootstrap class. So we are done with all the coding changes. Let us now test the client. First, I'll be starting the gRPC server in debug mode. 
also in the upload address proof here i'll be adding some debug points here the grpc server it has started on port 8090 next in the client project in bank service we have specified that we'll be reading the file from the location c test test.pdf so if now i go to this test folder here i have test.pdf file which will be read i'll be adding some debug points here i'll also be adding the debug point here let us start the client project debug as java application here the managed channel will be created stub will get created you get the response observer object the response observer we have issued add a debug point so when it will be completed and add a debug point here so you have been reading the file so here we create a new address proof request object we give the account holder name account number and the bytes so let us send this byte so the call has now reached the server so so we read these bytes and we move forward so again it has reached the server so in the server we are reading this bytes so once this is complete the on completed method will get called i'll just skip this so here the on completed method has called at the server end so finally we write the address proof at this location Let us run this. So even at the client end, we get that the file it has been uploaded successfully. So if we now go to the location D data, here we can see that the address proof it has been successfully uploaded by the gRPC server. Hope you have understood this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be implementing bidirectional gRPC calls using Spring Boot 3. You can download the source code from here. Thank you.